G'day, welcome to the Lion Lawn. There's green grass, no fumes, and no worries. Hi, I'm Matt, and thanks for joining me on the very first episode of The Lion Lawn, my new YouTube series based around the rejuvenation and renovation of my typical Australian backyard. This summer season, I have three major projects I want to do around my house, so I thought I'd film it all and drag you along for the ride. With everything that's going on in the world at the moment with the coronavirus, we're spending more and more time at home. And so these three projects that I want to undertake this season are based around making my yard and my home a much more uh, enjoyable place for my family and I to hang out. Um, starting with a full renovation of my Kaikuyu grass, front, back and side lawns, an irrigation system to complement that renovation and an outdoor entertaining area including some outdoor seating, a fire pit and some smart home technology with speakers and lights. Now what I'd like to do is try and complete these three projects using only battery powered lawn equipment. Now I'm not a greenie or an environmentalist by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm sick to death of the Saturday morning run from home to the servo with the little jerry can. You put six litres of fuel in a five litre jerry can because you always manage to spill a litre. That fuel can that's now covered in petrol goes in the car, makes the car stink. You get it home, it makes the shed stink. I'm over that. Um, what I want to do is only use battery powered equipment from now on. So um, lawn equipment in Australia and probably worldwide has started to make a real turn towards um, battery power. And the batteries that they use are generally lithium ion. Uh, so hence the name of the YouTube channel, lithium ion, lion, the lion lawn. Now, I appreciate that I'm probably not going to get a battery powered excavator when it comes to digging out the fire pit and things like that. So don't hold me to it if every now and then you see me with a piece of equipment with um, petrol driven or, or diesel driven. Um, but the plan is that wherever there is an alternative, I will use the battery alternative. So we'll see how we go with that little uh, challenge as, as I go along. Now the project that's going to take me the longest is the full renovation of my lawn. I have 350 square metres of Kaikuyu grass that was laid 10 years ago when we built this house. And since that time, I've not really taken care of it that well. Up until about 12 months ago though, when a mate of mine who has a stunning lawn convinced me that I should take better care of the backyard. So armed only with the information he could give me, my Ryobi One battery powered um, rotary mower and a hand push cylinder mower, I managed to turn my backyard from this into this. And that has sort of spurred this whole thing on. Now I want to do the front yard, the side yard, and redo the backyard completely so that hopefully by sort of the middle of the season, I have a really schmick uh, lawn that my family and I can hang out on um, and play on, and it looks great. Um, and of course, I'd like to eventually get some um, lawn stripes in there with a cylinder mower. There is a battery powered option, so we'll see how we go with that. Uh, but before I get to any of that, I need to prep the lawn. The renovation is going to take place in a couple of weeks. So before then, I need to spray out all the weeds and I need to define some uh, loose edges of the lawn that may need a garden bed or two to try and tidy up a little bit. So uh, today I've got some Casper herbicide, um, which is from Syngenta. Uh, I'm going to put that in my new Ryobi battery powered backpack sprayer and spray all 350 square meters of the lawn hoping that that knocks out the uh, clover that's crept in uh, and hopefully some of the other broadleaf uh, bits and pieces because I want all of those things gone before we get into the renovation. So um, let's go and check out the lawn and see how we go with that. So one of the issues that I have is that I used to have a garden up the fence line there but I've taken that out because I wanted more grass but the jacaranda tree doesn't really let the grass grow as you can sort of see there. So what I'm going to do is put a garden bed back in around that tree so I don't have to contend with hydrophobic soil and that sort of stuff. So that's one of the jobs I'm going to get done today, hopefully. Uh, so let's see how we go with that.
Okay, got my long sleeves on, got my PPE ready. I've got 20 grams of Casper. I'm going to throw that in my sprayer and we'll do the front, let's do the side yard and see how it, uh, how it comes up. It's important to remember to keep a steady pace as you're walking. Walk at the same pace across the whole lawn. Um, get a nice even coverage with your sprayer and um, yeah, let's see how we go. That'll probably do me for today, I reckon. Got a nice new garden bed around the jacarina tree to define that section of the lawn. Got all 350 square metres of the grass sprayed out with the Casper. Uh, so I'll check back in a week or two and see how that's going. I'm not sure if it's going to need a second hit or not, but uh, time will tell. Uh, and yeah, I think that was a pretty good day's work. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to make a start on the irrigation system that I'm going to put in around the place to complement the lawn renovation. So if that's something you're interested in, check back. Um, and I think that'll probably do me for today. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on The Lion Lawn.